This is often considered to be the worst game ever made. And if you've never heard of it before, it's called E.T. the Extraterrestrial. The game did so bad that they actually had to dump copies of it into a landfill since no one would buy it. But as a game developer, I couldn't help but wonder if maybe there was a good game underneath this rushed mess. So here's the challenge. With the gameplay and graphics overhaul, can I turn this game into something actually good? Or is E.T. doomed to be forever a bad game? The objective of E.T. is actually really simple. Collect three pieces of a broken telephone so E.T. can phone home. And all you really do is search wells until you get lucky and find one of those phone pieces. But this game has tons of issues. It's really hard to get out of the wells, the instructions just aren't clear at all, and there's just way more problems that I'll show you. But I'm confident that I can make this game into something actually good. In fact, I think you'll be surprised to see how much I improve it. My journey started with me messaging someone on Discord and asking them if they can make me an ET model. Unfortunately, they were busy, but they'll make an appearance back in this story later on. It actually ended up working out though, because I got lucky and found an awesome ET model online. And not only is ET 3D, but he's also rightfully brown, which I feel like I shouldn't have to mention, except for some reason he's green in the Atari version. You'll see this is only one of many strange decisions in the original game. Based on what I found online, the game's supposed to take place in a forest. This is actually really easy to do in Unity, and just involves adding some trees and making leaf particle effects. I originally made up my mind I wouldn't add any wells to my game, but for the sake of it I tried adding one. Since E.T. gets stuck in the well, I had to give him the ability to levitate. The wells really suck though, and I knew I could do better so I scrapped them. But I did leave the levitating, only with a slight adjustment. Now an energy bar will deplete every time you levitate, and you'll fall if it runs out. Now you might be wondering, why does E.T. even need a levitate if I removed wells from my game? Well, for a couple good reasons. The first being to avoid the SWAT guy. To be fair, this isn't a totally original idea. I didn't mention, but in the Atari game there's a guy in yellow who apparently is an FBI agent, and he tries to capture you. I wanted something like that in my game, but mine looks cooler and you can levitate into the trees to lose him. The whole forest is actually a nav mesh map, so that actually allows the SWAT guy to smartly avoid trees while chasing you. And if you think this is cool so far, you should totally subscribe right now or else I'll have to send that SWAT guy to find you. And while you were doing that, I added some radioactive Reese's pieces. They're famously in the movie, and they're also in the original game. I made mine radioactive so they're easier to see, and if you get one, it'll restore your energy so you can levitate some more. My goal with this game is to stay true to the original, but fix all of its flaws. One of those being the foam pieces in the Atari game are randomly placed in wells, and I realized totally on luck to find them. So I'm gonna make that better. If you remember the guy who I messaged on Discord earlier, his schedule freed up, and he was super awesome and made me these broken phone piece models. You'll have to find all three of them like the original, but the phone pieces show up on your mini map so you can easily spot them. And using fancy math, it also displays your distance to the nearest phone piece. So unlike the original game, you're not aimlessly wandering looking for the phone pieces. I did mention earlier that ET levitating had a couple uses, so here's the other use. Once you get all three phone pieces, you could call home and your spaceship picks you up. The experience totally sucks because you have to find a special spot on the map to be picked up, and there's no real clear directions how to find it. But this was actually really easy to improve. I found the model of the actual ship from the movie and placed it in the trees. Once you get all three phone pieces, you phone home and get directed to your spaceship. Here's the kicker though. It's up in the air, so you need to have enough energy to levitate towards it. I made a small fire trail effect, and if you reach the ship, E.T. flies back home. Unfortunately, if you're not so lucky and get caught, you'll have to restart the game. I wanted to be a completionist, so I made a menu and added a bunch of sound effects. I really believe my version fixes a lot of the issues the original game faced, and the graphics are looking pretty nice too. But you could try the game for yourself below and let me know what you think. If you didn't dislike this video, consider subscribing, and thanks so much for watching.